Hi everyone and welcome to my channel Influence Colorist. This will be a slightly different video today for me because it's going to get me out of my comfort zone. It's just one of those things where I never know how much personal information I should be putting out there. But the coloring world has just been positive and I'm loving all the get to know you videos. It's a great community to be a part of. I want to thank Kirsty from Kirsty Color and Sketch. Uh, she's got a great channel, so go check it out. And I'll be answering 34 questions while I color. I'd also like to tag Jessica from Color Me a Pink Monkey. Isn't that such a fun name? And Addicted to Coloring. So I can't wait to see your videos and to get to know you a little bit better. I'll be coloring in the Disney Silhouettes Magiques by Hatchet Heroes. I'm going to be using um, some Prismacolors, some gel pens, and some fine liners. And I'll put the um, my supplies down in the description box too. All right, so let me find the page I'll be working on. Okay, I'll be working on this page. As you can see, it is a silhouette of the fairy godmother from the movie Cinderella. And Cinderella just happens to be one of my favorite, like classic Disney movies. Not part of the questionnaire, but I just thought I would put it out there. Uh, there's a lot of overlapping that happens um, in this book. So I went ahead and colored some of these bigger areas. Um, that way, hopefully, it will be easier for me to kind of decipher what shape is what. So you can kind of see here in this area, there's a lot of overlapping shapes right here. So sometimes it can get kind of confusing of what shape is what. All right. So uh, let me get my pencils ready and I'll start answering questions. All right. I'm going to zoom in here a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. And I'll scoot this down and probably zoom in just a little bit more. There we go. All right, so the first question is my name. Uh, well, my name is Noel, uh, spelled N-O-E-L-L-E. And number two, do I have a nickname? No, no nickname, but I do get called Nicole a lot. Um, maybe because it starts with an N and ends with an E, but, um, and it's just probably more common to say or hear Nicole than it is Noel. So yeah, I get that a lot. All right, number three, do you like your name? Yes, I think it's different. Um, I feel I have to always explain or tell the story of why I was named Noel. And this, I guess, goes with the question number four, when is your birthday? So my birthday is in December. It's December 20th. And I always feel like I have to say why I was named what I was named. And that is because um, I was supposed to be born in January, and but I came a month early, and my dad was, uh, I guess he asked my mom, oh, could we name her Noel? So that is how I got my name. And my, my last name, I'll tell you my maiden name, it's Carol. So yes, Noel means Christmas, so I am Christmas Carol. All right, and I'm using fine liners for some of these really tight shapes. The color pencils, if you sharpen them, obviously really, really fine, then you can get into some of these shapes. But um, I'm, it's basically just gonna be a solid yellow anyway, so I figured the um, fine liners would work just fine in through here. Okay, so question number five. What are your three favorite colors? Uh, well, my top color would be blue. I just love all shades of blue. It doesn't matter light blue or dark blue. Um, I love them all. Uh, and then red and then green would probably be my third favorite, um, but only certain shades of green, I guess. 
Um, I like a Kelly green or um, the teal greens. Okay, number six, what are your three favorite movie quotes? So I don't watch a lot of movies over and over to remember the quotes. Um, I would say the only ones I watch over and over is um, the Christmas movies that we watch you know, every year. Um, my family watches them multiple times a year, so they can recite some of these lines like on cue and all the time. Um, but I'll give you my three from three different movies. So the first one is Christmas Vacation. And it's looks great, little full, a lot of sap. Number two is from a Christmas Story. Oh, fudge. And number three is from Elf. I like candy, candy canes, candy corn, and syrup. Okay, number seven, what is your favorite TV show or movie? So um, I'd say I like a lot of different, like a variety of shows. Um, so my favorite drama show right now is Outlander. Um, because it's my favorite book and um, well I it's the the series is over right now so I'm kind of sad um, and wishing that was back on um, shows I'm currently watching right now are Yellowstone and the Ozarks um, I think is either Netflix or Prime uh, and then I love like HGTV so home and garden TV like home design home renovation those kind of shows Uh, funny shows, I love Last Man Standing, and uh, I could watch reruns of Seinfeld or um, The Office, the American version, like probably anytime. Movies, I, like I said before, I don't watch a lot of movies like over and over. Um, the only one I could think of that if I were to see it like, you know, on TV, like it was going to be airing on TV, uh, is Mrs. Doubtfire. So if that was, if I saw that was on, then yeah, I'd be watching that. And I can watch that movie over and over. Okay, uh, number eight. What are three qualities you like in a best friend? So I would say they have to be loyal, uh, funny, and kind of tell it like it is, uh, but also easygoing which is a good thing I'm kind of describing my current best friends. Okay, next question. What is your dream? So for the most part, I don't think I have any um, big dreams or aspirations at, at my age right now. Um, I'm just happy to, to have a healthy, happy family, and I enjoy seeing my kids doing what they love to do. Uh, if anything, I guess it would just be to, um, I think about home stuff. <laughs> There's that home renovation show getting into my mind. Uh, I, yeah, I would love to like redecorate or renovate some things in my house. Uh, I do think it would be fun to be like a house flipper. So maybe that could be one of my dreams someday. Uh, if I had the money, yeah, I would probably want to like house flip. Number nine is, do you wear makeup? So I would say for the most part, yes. Um, you know, especially when I'm working or going out, which would consist of uh, foundation, powder, concealer, eye makeup for the most part. Um, I don't wear a lot of lipstick. I feel like I have small lips and it just makes my lips look smaller. And then they feel all dry and chapped. So haven't really gotten into the lipstick. Um, I would say you know, definitely mascara for sure. And right now, <laughs> with the, everyone wearing a mask right now, um, I don't really see the point in wearing a lot of makeup. So it's currently just eye makeup, um, mostly eyeliner, mascara, and, and not too crazy of eyeshadow, but just a little bit. Okay, number 11, what makes you cry? Oh gosh, and I, I did hear this in one of the other videos too. Um, yeah, animal commercials, like any heartfelt animal commercial um, always makes me tear up. Uh, not necessarily the ones that um, they're showing you, the abused dogs and stuff. I tend to like pass those because I really don't want to see those. Um, but yeah, so like, 
for instance, if anyone's in the United States, I'm not sure if you have it there in uh, Great Britain or not, the Budweiser commercials with the big Clydesdale horses, and sometimes there's like the Dalmatian dog, but for whatever reason, I always get teary-eyed for those. Um, and then I've also been watching some um, documentaries on YouTube. They're like guide dog documentaries. So how puppies are picked for guide dogs, or there's, um, you know, it shows them going with their owner. And I don't know why, I just was like totally tearing up for those. All right, and then what makes you angry? So, well, right now in the world situation here, there's could be a lot that, that makes me angry. So I'll try not to get too political, but I would say not having consideration for others is a big thing. Um, no empathy for others and their feelings and not taking responsibility and blaming others for things. Um, I do have a pet peeve. This is kind of a simple pet peeve. Um, but it's when you're at the grocery store in the parking lot and people don't put their carts away in the little cart return. Uh, yeah, that that's like one of my pet peeves. All right, number 13, what makes you happy? My family, friends, and my dogs. And then other than that, I love just being out in nature. I love the summer rain. I love the way it smells, hearing the thunder, seeing the lightning, and then the way it just cools things off when it's been so hot. Okay, um, let's see, what, number 14, what is fangirling? Um, I'm not sure. It sounds like, like someone who's a groupie of a band. Uh, like if you got close to your favorite celebrity and you started to cry or scream. Um, so I'm not sure. I don't, there's no one that I would probably do that for. Uh, if we're talking about in the coloring world, if I'm a fan of someone, um, yes, I would say if there was anyone I would want to meet, it would probably be Johanna Basford. Uh, I feel like I could be her friend. <laughs> I love the way she talks. Like she's so calm and um, like friendly sounding. I love her Scottish accent and uh, I love her work studio. Like I would want to go visit her and just like hang out with her. So I don't know. That is what my fangirling is. All right. And number 15, what are your three favorite snacks? Uh, so, well, what can I say? I'm a foodie, so I pretty much love all kinds of food. Uh, sweet, savory, and salty. Um, I'm also a chocoholic. So I'm just going to give you my three favorite dark chocolate. So I have to have a piece of chocolate after lunch and after dinner. Even if it's just like one or two pieces, I'm perfectly fine with that. So my three favorite brands or kinds um, is the Hershey's Special Dark Chocolate. Um, and then I like the Lint Dark Chocolate and Sea Salt. And then uh, the third one is Trader, jo Trader Joe's Dark Chocolate Peanut Butter Cup. Trader Joe's is like a little grocery store here in town. So yeah, those would be my three favorite chocolate things. Okay, next I'm going to take this um, gold sparkly UB gel pen and I'm just going to use that over some of the other really fine um, flourishes around these heart shapes. And just to get the ink flowing, I'm going to kind of rub it on some scratch paper here. All right, and my next question, number 16, what are your three favorite foods? Uh, well, again, like I said, I'm kind of a foodie, so I love all different types of food, um, but I would say I love a good hamburger. Um, Mexican food is always, um, we have Mexican food probably several times a week, so whether it's tacos, burritos, tamales, taco salad, you know, anything like that, we love Mexican food. Um, and then the third one, um, just like a good Italian meal, whether it's spaghetti or like ravioli with, um, and I have to have like the bread and butter and like a good Caesar salad. That would be like a good meal. All right, my next question, what are your three favorite drinks? 
Um, well, sadly, I really don't drink much of anything. So I'm usually just drinking water. Uh, my family makes fun of me because I can probably make a whole water bottle last all day, which I know is really bad. I need to drink more. And then it usually hits me at night that I'm like super thirsty. So if I'm drinking something, it's usually just water. Uh, on the weekends, I'll treat myself to just some other types of drinks. Um, alcoholic drinks, my three favorite would be a sangria, um, Moscato, I like sweeter drinks, um, and then like a whiskey and Coke. Non-alcoholic, um, I like a good, uh, not sweetened, but like a flavored sun tea. Uh, and then my favorite soda would probably be like a root beer. And then sometimes in the morning if I want something kind of fizzy but like healthy, I might do like a pineapple kombucha. Yeah, it took me a little while to get used to the kombucha taste and there's only certain flavors that I'll drink. I don't know. I don't know if you guys like those or not. They can be kind of vinegary tasting, so that's why there's a few flavors that I've had that, um, that I can tolerate. Okay, 18 is, t can you tell us a little bit about yourself? 10 random facts. So I'm gonna do this rapid fire here. Uh, one, I married to my high school sweetheart. We've been married for 22 years. I have two kids, one is 19, one is 15. Um, I've lived in three cities, but just one state. I grew up in a car show family uh, and so I'm a Ford loving girl and we have three Mustangs. I blush really easy. <laughs> and I was a florist where I met one of my best friends. I teach kids drawing and coloring in an after school program. I love playing Just Dance, uh, either by myself or sometimes my daughter and I will, will have battles. Uh, and I used to be, I used to want to be an orca whale trainer at SeaWorld. And 10, I swear I have a twin or doppelganger running around somewhere because it like almost on a monthly basis, I would say someone is always telling me uh, I look familiar to them or I look like someone they know. All right. So yeah, that was 10 random facts. All right, number 19, what are three things you like to do? So other than coloring and doing art crafty things, um, I'll say uh, with some friends, we have uh, something that we call game day. So every Thursday we get together um, when the kids are at school and we take turns hosting and there's, oh, I don't know, maybe anywhere from five to 10 of us at a time. And I don't, we've been friends for probably like nine or 10 years. Uh, so yeah, we just get together, we have lunch, and then we play a bunch of board games or trivia games. So that's a lot of fun. And then let's see. And then with my family, we enjoy going to the lake. There's several lakes around our area and we'll um, tube or just hang out. Uh, and then for a couple years now, We've been learning how to wake surf, so a little bit different than wakeboarding, where you actually, um, you kind of start out like if you were wakeboarding, but your feet aren't like in boots, like if you were in a, on a wakeboard, and you get up almost like if you were surfing, holding a rope, and then once you get comfortable with like riding the wave, then you just let go of the rope, and you have this nice continuous wave, uh, until you fall down. So anyway, that is something we love to do. And then um, the last thing I would say, I'd love to volunteer. So I've volunteered for animal wildlife rehab centers, uh, which I love. If I lived closer to one, I would be there probably once a day. And then um, with the kids, when they were in elementary school, I volunteered for the art program. And then now uh, they're grown up, but my daughter, she's in high school, so I'll help with band stuff or her, or her dance. All right, so I'm also taking this gold gel pen and going over some of the yellow on the crown just to make the, the crowns a little bit more sparkly. 
Okay, uh, number 20. What best describes where you live? <laughs> well, this is a good one. Um, one word, hot. Yeah, I live in the desert, so it is very hot here. Sometimes temperatures can reach up to 117, 120. So yeah, in the past questions where I said I love the summer rain, that is the reason because it is so hot here. So when we have a nice rain, it cools things off and it just creates a, just a different you know, vibe for, for the day. Um, and smaller than that, I would say I live in just a suburb of a big city. It's very family friendly, lots of schools, lots of activities. But yet at the same time, I feel like we still have some like farmland around. So, you know, you can be driving and, you know, you feel like you're in a big suburban area, but then you can pass like a couple farms, you know, within a couple miles. So I like that. I like, even though some of the farms are going away now, it's still, it's still nice to see some farms around. Okay, 21. What is your crafty coloring style? Well, as my channel suggests, Influenced Colorist, I'm kind of influenced by a lot of things. So I never feel like I have my own personal style. Um, I am a big time copier. So um, I just kind of, um, I don't know, I do what is easy for me to copy or to come up with. Something has to be um, you know, fairly simple to do or easy to learn how to do. And I'm kind of impatient, so I, I can't spend like days and days on one project. It has to be something that I can do quickly. But I do love to try new things and try to teach myself. All right, question number 22. What is your most used crafty or coloring tool? So I would say my go-to is always color pencils. I love using color pencils. Um, and then my go-to crafty tool um, would probably be the Cricut, you know, the die cutting machine. So even though I'm not doing a lot of scrapbooking right now, um, I used to do like a lot of t-shirt making um, or you know home decor stuff. So uh, the Cricut has been like a lifesaver for, for those projects. Okay, um, let's see, number 23. What is your most wishes for a crafty or coloring tool? So I'm not sure if that means what I would want to use or just what I like about the tool. Um, it, for one, it needs to be easy to, to use um, or I need to be able to learn how to use it pretty quickly. So uh, a quick learning curve. Um, and then a wish for a product would be, I wish alcohol markers would not bleed through the page. Like I have, I think I probably have more coloring books that are double-sided, you know, they're not single-sided. So I, I feel like I always want to use alcohol markers, but then I would be ruining the, the page on the other side. So yeah, either alcohol markers wouldn't bleed through or like a water-based marker would act the same as an alcohol marker. So yeah, that's my biggest wish. Um, okay, what is your favorite craft or coloring brand? Uh, right now I'm going to say Prismacolors. Um, I was, I don't know why, I was trying to not want to like Prismacolors for some reason. Um, I don't know, I was set on using my polychromos and let's see, speaking of color pencils here, I'm gonna just go over this yellow just on the edges just to give it a little bit more dimension and depth here. So all along these gold areas. All right, so yes, Prismacolors, I finally broke down and bought the 150 set. And yes, I'm loving them. Um, and let's see, other than, um, Coloring, I would say, well, even even with coloring, the Tim Holtz product line, whether it's Distress Inks or he has the these stencils I've been using, um, I think that's very versatile. Like I can use them for scrapbooking or card making um, and then now for coloring. So yeah, I would say the Tim Holtz products um, would be one of my favorite brands. 
All right, and then 25, what is your favorite craft? So I've pretty much dabbled in all kinds of crafts. Um, you know, ever since I was young, I just always wanted to, to do different things. My mom did a lot of crafting too. So if I saw something that I, I liked, um, I would always try to learn how to make it myself. So, um, but yeah, I would say right now, my favorite thing to do is coloring. Um, but I'm a big scrapbooker too. Unfortunately, I just, I haven't been in the mood to scrapbook for a while. It's like been kind of overwhelming with, um, how many years I'm behind. Um, and then, but I, I like to paint. I'm just not the best at painting, but I try to find things that I can do. And then let's see, I've tried crocheting. So one year for Christmas, I crocheted all my friends' scarves. Um, yeah, so I like to try a variety of things. All right, uh, number 26, do you have pets? Yes, I have two Labradors. Um, one is a yellow and the other is a chocolate. So they bring me so much joy. They are um, completely different personalities. The yellow is very serious and um, more stubborn where the chocolate is your typical like happy-go-lucky lab. He's just always wagging his tail and just wants to be with everyone. So yeah, I've always had dogs. I can't imagine my life without having any dogs. Um, yeah, they're just so much fun to have. Okay, so I'm finally moving on to another shape here. I'm gonna do the pumpkins next. And I'm going to be using a yellow, a light orange. Oh, okay. Um, let me sharpen that. <laughs> let me sharpen this real quick. Uh, this doesn't happen too much with the Prismacolors, but it seems like once it happens, then it's going to happen a couple times. So bear with me while I sharpen these pencils. But yeah, I'll do this kind of, uh, yeah, see, there it goes again. Um, a light orange, um, a kind of a medium, kind of more golden orange, and then a dark orange. That will be for my pumpkin. So I'll just use those colors to help blend. And let's see, let me move this so you can see a little bit better. So there's pumpkins and then there's also the little pumpkin carriage here, but I'm just gonna concentrate on the, the pumpkins for right now. Okay, so let's see, um, number 27, when is your favorite time to craft? Uh, I would say mid-morning, so I like to kind of do yoga in the morning or work out in the morning, and then so sometime before lunch, and then lunch hits, and I want to eat and uh, take care of some other things. And it's usually when maybe um, kids are getting home from their activities and stuff like that. So, um, and then after that, then probably before dinner sometime. So um, yeah, and then after dinner, then I kind of become a couch potato. Like I don't really want to do any type of coloring or uh, anything. I like to watch some different shows at night and that's kind of our, our family time after dinner. All right, and then 28, do you have any favorite non-crafty YouTube channels um, that, that you watch? So recently, I, I think I mentioned it before, I've been watching like on YouTube these guide dog documentaries or channels so um, there's one her name is Molly Burke and she's a blind girl she does a lot of like makeup tutorials like when I was telling my daughter about it she's like oh yeah Molly Burke she does you know makeup tutorials um, so yeah but then she also has her guide dog with her and so she'll just talk about her experiences and she kind of shows like her the dog how it, it certain skills but yeah I love to watch like from start to finish, like how guide dog puppies are picked and then how they're matched up with their their owner. I think that's really cool. And then um, doing some exercise ones, there's a channel called Mad Fit I've been doing. So just quick little, maybe anywhere from 10 to 20 minute workout videos are fun. But yeah, I used to watch a lot of makeup tutorials or shopping hauls, like, you know, things like that. So not too much anymore. I try to just stick with my 
um, creative shows, coloring or um, artsy type of videos. All right, uh, number 29, what is your favorite store? So I would say Hobby Lobby because they have a lot of, well, just crafts in general, but then they also have some really cool, unique, like home decor items. And it's always changing, like they always, you know, are changing with the season and, and stuff. So um, yeah, that is my favorite, like crafty type of store. Um, and then I also like TJ Maxx and um, again they have clothes or makeup, um, exercise, you know, clothes, um, home goods, like that type of stuff, but it's all like really well-priced things. So yeah, that is probably one of my favorite stores. And then obviously I'll have to say Target and Amazon. We probably get an Amazon package at least uh, well, uh, not every day, but between four people in our household ordering stuff all the time, I would say probably three to four times out of the week we're getting some kind of Amazon package. Okay, so for my pumpkins, I just started with the lightest color first, and then I'm just building up those different color layers. Um, going from light to dark, leaving the very top part um, almost white, but just super light. So that is where the light is hitting. And then going into the, the bottom area and around these lines for the darkest kind of shadow areas. And then I'll just go back and forth, kind of taking that yellow to kind of blend it all in. You can tell by the camera shaking that I am pressing pretty hard and uh, trying to move that color around. All right, um, what is your favorite restaurant? So uh, I like, again, a variety of things, but I would say when it comes time for my birthday or Mother's Day or some restaurant that I get to be able to choose, um, it's usually between these two restaurants. So I guess you could say that they are uh, favorites. So one is kind of a chain. I'm not sure if how if it's a state chain or if it's throughout the United States, but it's called Zinburger. And I would say they have the best hamburgers and um, truffle fries. So fries with like truffle seasoning. And then they have this really good um, dipping sauce with them. And then of course, since if I'm treating myself with an alcoholic drink, they have a really good um, sangria. Uh, the next one is a local restaurant. It's called Bella Gusto, and they have really good um, homemade pastas. So it's Italian, but they also have like a big like brick pizza oven, and it's like the best pizza. And I like really unusual toppings on my pizza. <laughs> like I like arugula and grapes and like prosciutto. Um, so they have just really unique pizzas and you know the white pizzas. Um, and some red pizzas so my family can kind of pick stuff that they want and then I can you know get unusual pizzas there okay so I'm gonna work on these little hearts next and I'm just using a really um, kind of baby pink first and then I'm gonna go with this darker pink to do the bottom and more of the left side of the hearts, just to give it, again, a little bit more shadow, a little bit more dimension. All right, 31, what is your favorite magazine? Well, this is easy because I don't get any magazines anymore. Uh, gosh, I haven't gotten any type of magazine in a really long time. I guess there's some like coloring ones that I've heard some of you talk about. Um, I've never um, received any of those, so I'm going to say I don't really have a favorite magazine. But I do have a favorite author. So 32 is who is your favorite author? And that is easy. It is Diana Gabaldon. She wrote the series Outlander. And that is um, a series that I could read over and over. In fact, I have read over and over. And now it's a TV series, so yes, I've watched it. Um, although I haven't really watched it like over and over, but the books I could like, once I'm done with the series, I can totally like start it all over again. So yeah, I'm not a huge reader. So lately 
um, I've been doing the audiobooks. That way I can listen to the book while I color. So, yeah. Um, that's about it on books. I definitely have favorite illustrators though, so I would say Johanna Basford is probably my top one, only because she was like one of the first coloring books that I purchased. And, you know, she would come out with a new one, so I'd get that one. And I was kind of, you know, being kind of a book snob and being like, oh, you know, I'm not gonna get any other books. You know, these are the perfect ones for me. Um, and I'm not gonna get a new book until I finish a book. I don't know if any of you have ever said that to yourself. And then, you know, then you realize like how long it takes you to color, uh, you know, a page. And then you get excited for the next book. And so that didn't really hold <laughs> true for really long. So yeah, I have multiples of Johanna Bassford's. Um, and then I kind of got over where I'm only gonna stick with her books. And really, you know, when I started watching all these YouTube videos on other books, um, that is when I got influenced. So yeah, I would say the Kirby Rosans books I love. Um, Rita Berman's books so yeah there's I have quite a few uh, favorite illustrators all right let me move this down a little bit so you can see up here at the top I'll continue the hearts okay number 33 what are your favorite shoes so I'm really not like a shoe or purse person. Like I cannot imagine spending a lot of money on shoes or purses. Um, I just go for what's practical. Like I would rather, you know, spend a hundred dollars and get like, you know, 10 pairs of shoes or, you know, five pairs of shoes than to spend it all on one purse or one pair of shoes. So um, yeah, and then where I live, um, flip-flops are my go-to shoe right now in the desert and um, or sandals, you know, something easy, breathable. Um, I also like, you know, um, Adidas tennis shoes. So yeah, it's, I'm pretty simple. All right, last question, number 34. What is your favorite time of year? So I would say the fall. Um, it cools off and I just love like fall scented candles and um, decorations like Halloween decorations yeah like I said we since I live in the desert it's hot most of the year so in the fall through the winter time is like the best time um, yeah it's only you know extremely hot for the you know three or four months and then after that, the rest of the year is gorgeous. Like you can be outside anytime. So the fall is kind of when it starts to just be nice, like, you know, all day long. And, um, and then I just love like home scents, like cinnamon or pie or apple type scents. So that's when I start getting the candles out. And then obviously I love Halloween. So um, Halloween decorations. Uh, I would say when I was younger, I probably liked summer the best. Um, the city we lived in growing up was not as hot as where we are now. So, um, you know, just, you know, being outside all the time. Gosh, we used to run barefoot outside in the summertime um, and, you know, played in the desert. So, but yeah, definitely not now. I do not like the summer right now. It's too, too hot. Although it is nice to just be able to like be in your pool all summer, but for the most part, it is too hot to be outside. All right, well, that's the last of the questions. Uh, I hope um, I shared information so you can get to know me a little bit better. And I wish I would have gotten more done on this page. So I might, um, I might go ahead and like speed through it just so you can see a little bit more. And then I'll just go and show you the finished project when it's, when it's done. So anyway, um, I hope you like this video and I look forward to seeing more of these get to know you videos. All right. Thanks everyone. And happy coloring.
right, everyone, here is the final page. I really love the color palette on this one. Um, you know, just Cinderella. I just always think of her in the, the blue gown. So I love all the shades of blue in here. The really um, dark navy blue kind of helps bring that kind of midnight look to here. And then the shades of um, the pops of orange and then the pops of pink, I think really add to, um, to the theme. So anyway, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.